<laughs> What's going on, Buff Nation? Welcome back to another video. So the boys, the boys are cooking, all right? We've been talking about it. Massive weekend. I'm talking about a huge weekend for visits. I'm going to go over all the people that are there currently. Talk about possibilities. Look at this. Let's, I mentioned this beforehand a couple of times, This that early portal cycle we had. It felt like when they had a list of visits, it was just a matter of time of when those guys checked off. Like, yeah, we're going to Colorado. We got a slew of visits this week, and we got to go over and there might be a little bat signal here letting us know on who's going to commit. But before we get into that, there was a commitment today that happened for the Buffs, filling in that tight end room. Let's talk about it. Mm. Gets me going every single time. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the show. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe. We're almost at 9,000 subs, just surpassed 2.5 million views. Absolutely incredible. Your support uh, has been awesome, so appreciate it. But big time commit here in Charlie Williams. I shouldn't say big time because I already see it in the comments. It's not a big time. Whatever. Suck it, all right? Get over yourself. <laughs> big time commit. Charlie Williams here, again, from Aspen, Colorado. Two-star guy. He's not massive. Uh, but his size is massive, standing at 6'4", I believe, maybe 6'6", 6'4", 240 pounds. Was at UNLV last year, doesn't have any stats at UNLV. But this, look, a room that was thin after losing uh, Shimon just yesterday, like this addition. I think there's more to come, though. I don't think this is the, this, this is not the replacement. This is surely just, look, we got to, depth is an issue. This is one thing that I've been saying this entire time with these guys leaving into the portal, that there is some question marks. There was an, another one into the portal today. Uh, Eric Brantley just committed, just enrolled early enroll in January. He also uh, off to the portal. So some head scratchers there. I thought Eric Brantley was going to turn out and, and be something, but you know, a lot of people were excited to see him play at Colorado. Again, <laughs> a lot of movie pieces right now. It's 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 mayhem, but you got to think like, look, they're they're bringing this NFL style, this this to hey win now mentality and. These guys aren't filling in that that need for right now is for, for what, what, what I'm guessing. But look, on the outside looking in, you got a lot of people that are jumping on this thing. But anyways, Charlie Williams commits today, tied in 6'4". So love that they're able to fill that room. He may be a walk-on. I don't have the details on that. So this may not be filling up a scholarship position, which would be even better in the sense that you got some depth there, but not taking up scholarship room, which we've got about 12 to 13 spots, I think, for the Buffs. Uh, headed into now let's get into the visits this weekend because that's what excites me like I said and and there might be a little foreshadowing here in just a moment that could lead to not all but almost all committing and I'll explain here in just a moment so we got running back uh, Dalen Hayden from Ohio State then linebacker Elijah Herring I like the linebacker play here a lot we know the linebacker room is extremely thin and here's why I say this coach prime has been beating the drum about linebacker playing that we got some linebackers coming. He already said in his interview yesterday, linebackers are coming to Colorado. We've got them already locked and loaded here. Elijah Herring led Tennessee in tackles last year with 74. He entered in the portal very early, and his first stop is Colorado. I'm not saying it's a lot, but it feels pretty damn good, okay? If I was a betting man, I'm putting on Elijah Herring to the wearing a Buffs uniform next year. This guy with a ton of experience, SEC play. He's going to be the guy. Then you got off of the tackle, Peyton Kirkland, four-star guy, 6'6", 366, um, out of the 2023 class, was committed to Texas. To, that Texas class was insane. And look, offensive tackle, Jordan Seaton. you got to like this combo here. This is a big-time talent. This Peyton Kirkland, if, if he were to land at Colorado just a year ago, would have would have sent, the, sent us into the stratosphere, just like the Jordan Seaton did. He was a massive target for a lot of schools last year. So this would be a big-time pickup for Colorado. His impact, will it be immediate? That part, I don't know. I don't know how much progress he made at Texas. These things are are unknown, but like the chances there. Then we got defensive line Rayon Bell had a big season last year at Ohio. Got his stats pulled up here. Rayon Bell had four and a half, four and a half sacks with twelve solo tackles, thirty total tackles. Stands at 6'3", 277. Like a little bit more pounds on there at the DL position, but all in all, uh, coming from Buffalo again, that defensive line it's healthy, but could utilize some depth there. This would be a big depth position. And then that edge rusher from Pittsburgh, Dayon Hayes, 25 solo tackles, four sacks, one forced fumble. I've been talking about that. I talked about the edge before the visit even came out because Sanson Okonola, who was also from Pitt, the edge rusher, uh, is there. You're bringing, you're bringing the combo back, boys. Okay, You're bringing the Bustin' boys back together again out in Buffalo. I like this possibility of happening a lot. And then you go into uh, uh, Hill Green from Charlotte. 
he had 48 solo tackles, 73 total tackles, right alongside Elijah Herring with two sacks and one forced fumble, staying at 6'2", 232. Again, we've been hearing about there are linebackers coming in. We have linebackers that left today. Eric Brantley was one of those linebackers that left today, and two are there today. I'm not saying that the writing's on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. By golly, the writing is on the wall. Now, stick with me here. Let's let's do a little count. Let's do a little uh, one, two, three here and go down the list. We got one, two, three, four, five, six recruits, transfer portal guys that are there today. Why, why, Sean? Why are you bringing that to our attention? It's a great question. Great question. The reason why I bring this to you, this attention, got Coach Devin here. Put out the bat signal. You see this, you know we got some coming. But here's what I want you to keep an eye on here. Pun intended. Zoom in. Look closely. Look at the captions. How many eyeballs are there? There's one, two, three, four. Go back to that last page. How many are there? There's six. Okay. But wait, there's more. Because as I was going to click the record button, he tweeted another pair of eyes. I don't know if he's just excited or if he left off a pair. Leading me to believe five of the six are a lock. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And if you're, if you're going to ask me, hey, which five, it's easier for me to tell you which one I don't, which I think doesn't happen, okay? The edge, linebackers, both linebackers, lock, okay? Edge rusher, lock. If I had to guess, it's got to be between the running back and Peyton Kirkland. Those are the two that I think could be not, not locked in. The running back room is always going to be a toss-up. He wants to definitely come and be the guy there. Uh, for Dalen. Peyton Kirkland, I think he knows wherever he goes, he's not going to exactly be the guy, but I would imagine at Colorado he's going to get the most playing time than he would out over anywhere else, so I like it, but I think Peyton Kirkland has a ton of options, and that's where I think that could be, just because of how much eligibility he has left, and that's my reason for holding back on Peyton Kirkland. Two linebackers to lock, Ed Rushers to lock, and bringing back the boys from Pittsburgh. You're not just pulling him from Pitt when you already got a Pitt guy. That's a lock. Rayon Bell, defensive line, there. It's you're not going from Ohio to Colorado because you're bored. You know what I mean? Elijah Herring, he's a part of the linebacker room. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the offensive tackle and running back. Those are my two guesses. Let me know in the comment section how you think this thing rolls out with the laying the, they laying this out on which which five. If this is what we're thinking, right? We're plugging the eyeballs in here from the, from the tweet here. There's four, plus he tweeted out another pair of eyes here just moments ago. Five commits, I'm assuming, from today. We know who's there currently. How do we think this thing rocks out? Don't forget, in the interview yesterday with Coach Prime, he said we already have linebackers, all these players already signed. They're already, on, they're already locked in. They're already committed. It's done. It's a done, 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 done deal. We just need to go ahead and announce it. There's also a slew of guys set to visit come the spring game here in about less than 10 days. So almost seven, seven days now. So they've got 11 spots. Here's six. They've got 12, 13 spots. Here's six of them right here, five of them right here. Let me know what you think. If, if, I'm, if I'm a Buffs, I, I would prefer the running back to not commit. If I, had to, if I had to choose five, the one I would leave off would be, would be Hayden. And the reason is just because I think, in my opinion, running backs are a dime a dozen. I feel like the other five are going to make a more dramatic impact, especially with Shador Sanders. The Rock is being slung, ladies and gentlemen. It's no secret, okay? <laughs> Running the ball was non-existent last year. And I don't think it's going to just all of a sudden be a 50-50 ball game. It could be 80-20 maybe. And I think an important running back is huge. But the other five, based on what they're trying to build, in my opinion, Benefits them more. Peyton Kirkland and Jordan Seaton would help the future of Julian Lewis, which obviously is a target for the Buffs as well. That to me is, if I had to pick, those are the five that I would like to come on through. So, of course, let me know. I want to hear from you guys what your thoughts and feelings about it. If Maybe I'm crazy, but we've said this before. When these guys visit the Buffs, Coach Prime understands what's going on. He's not going to waste his time having them come in unless it's just to make to sort out any business deals. That's what it is. He's not gonna. He's not gonna spend this 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 next two or three days grooming these guys. That's not. He's made that very clear. If you're coming here, we're working out deets. We're gonna play football. We're gonna see if this is gonna work out. These conversations have already been had. They're just going there to sign the paperwork and get the photo in front of the wall. That's what's happening here. Let's be. Let's keep it a buck. So the reason I tell you all these things is because when these commits start flo- flooding through like they usually do, kind of one after the other, you know what we do. We flick the lights on, the cameras on, action. Videos come flying out, letting you know about who they got, what they do to the team, etc. So then you know what you need to do. Smash the like button, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Because you want to know when these bad boys drop. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love, baby. Be good.